What's up, Mr. iPod Touch 31 here, how you guys doing? In this video I do have the overall review of the Apple iPad 32GB, um, but first before I open it up and stuff, I'm just gonna, in this review I'm just gonna show you some of the main pre-installed apps that come installed, and then I'll just show you kind of what it looks like, but before I turn it on, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. It's basically, you have, you see my iPod Touch right there. I know people don't like it when you say this, but it is a basically a big iPod Touch. Okay, it's it's not a big iPod Touch. It, it it looks like it until you turn it on. Once you turn it on and start playing games on it, it has it's nothing like an iPod Touch. It's amazing. The only difference is the thick. It's a little thicker right here. You guys can see. As the iPod, it's not as thick right there. But yeah, you have the same home screen right there, right there. And then we'll go to the side. On this side, you have absolutely nothing. I think if you get the 3G model, you do have something on the side. I cannot remember what, though. If you go to the top, you have your headphone jack, uh, your microphone, your on and off power switch button. If you go to the side, you have your little clicky thing. Like, if you click it there, that means that it won't um, rot rotate anymore. If you click it back, that means that it, that it will rotate. You have your volume rocker. And then you have your iPod or your iPad dock connector right there. And your three speakers, which is kind of nice. The speakers are quite loud on the back. If you have a 3G model on the back, you're going to have a big thing like right here for a 3G model. Your Wi-Fi is actually inside the Apple logo right there. It says iPad right here, 32 gigabyte, and then all that print. You know, who cares about the print though? Um, yeah. So I'll go ahead and turn on. I'm just going to set it down on my little styrofoam thing I got right there. Try to prop it up a little bit. All right. So if you have slide to unlock, the cool new, it's upside down. Cool new function that it has, it's probably going to turn off here in a second. Hold on. Cool new function it has is this little button right here. If you click it, it's going to go into like a slideshow on your lock screen. So that's kind of nice. Okay, so the first app I'm going to show you, is, like I said, it's just the main ones. I'm just going to go into Safari right away. And Safari, is, it's very, 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 very fast. Okay, so what you can do is this little button right there that has like the bookmark thing. You click that, and it can go up to your recently searched. I was actually on Netflix today, and just your favorites and stuff like that. If you go to bookmarks, it's got your bookmarks. I got Locker, eBay, and then I haven't added very many bookmarks yet, but you know. If you go to here, you can have up to nine pages at a time. So you can basically just click on a page, and then if you don't want to go to that page, just click on that again, and then you're back here. You can have up to nine of those, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think it's nine. So let's go ahead and just search something. Go ahead to the search bar, and there it says Untitled it's Google. Okay, we'll go ahead and just search. Go to Google. We'll put it in the landscape mode, and it's very easy to type, just like a laptop. I'll just press search. And then here it is. It's basically... Look how fast that loaded. I mean, it's not even trying to load anything anymore. So up here, this goes right into Google, web images, videos, maps, news, shopping, Gmail, more, blah, 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 blah. And then it has the Apple website. Okay, let's click on that. And it's going to probably say iPad is here. Yep. <sighs> it's still loading, but it is, that, that is actually pretty fast. I mean, you got to admit, that's pretty, pretty fast. So there's the iPad. Pretty cool, even though I'm right here and I'm touching it. But anyways, we'll just go ahead and go into iPad. And then that one loaded pretty fast. It's already done loading. So yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. The only bad thing is uh, it does not have flash, which isn't very cool. So you can't watch certain videos, but whatever. So yeah, let's just go ahead and go into YouTube. So YouTube, you can actually uh, sign into your account and it'll remember it. And then here, I just on my videos right now. I have all my videos. Um, I do have the iPad unboxing if you want to go check that out. The link will be in the description. Annotation will be right there. Go ahead and click that if you want to see the iPad unboxing. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the YouTube app. History, no videos. Featured, just going to go into the YouTube featured. And then we've got top rated. Most viewed. I'm not going to actually show you guys all of them. Just got top rated, most viewed, favorites, subscriptions, my videos, and history. And of course, you've got the search bar right there. And then you've got, like, if you go into top rated, 
it'll say, you know, you can see the top rated for today, this week, or all time. So yeah, YouTube is actually a very fun app. Like, just the layout of it is really nice. I really like the way they put the YouTube app into it. Um, the iTunes app is actually nice too. It's a lot different from the iPod Touch one. Right here I am at top charts. Right there. I'm at, actually just at music, but it's at top charts. And you can see it kind of has a new design, which is kind of nice. You've got your movies. Got TV shows, podcasts, audiobooks, iTunes U, and downloads. If you're downloading something, it'll appear there. So yeah, it's just really, really nice the way it's set out. And you've got your genders up there. Featured, top charge, you know, genius. And then go ahead and search for a song, movie, audiobook, whatever you are looking for. So I'll go ahead and go into the settings now. We'll go into App Store later. I was going to click the App Store. So here's the settings. Settings is uh, laid out a lot nicer than what it used to be. You've got some your apps right here that actually go into the settings. And then you've got, you know, your store, photos, video, iPod, Safari, mail, contacts, general, picture frame, brightness, wallpaper, notifications, and Wi-Fi. Pretty much the same as the uh, iPod Touch. Just a lot nicer, not a lot nicer laid out. Picture frame, as you guys can see, you do have, there's Megan Fox right there, by the way. But you can have a picture in the back. There, you can set, you can have a picture in the background, as you guys saw when I opened up my iPad. So I'll go ahead and just exit out of settings. Let's go into the App Store now. The App Store is laid out a lot like iTunes. It's got all your apps and stuff. Not much different than iTunes, just for the bottom bar is different. You just got featured, top church, categories, and updates. And then again, you can go into uh, like genders and stuff if you go to categories. Up here you've got new, what's hot. So if we go into top charts, let it load up. We've got all the top charts of the apps, the prices and everything. It's got a little description right there. And then if you go into categories right here, press categories and we can do, um, we'll just do games. And it'll show you all the games that are on the top charts right now. So these are, those are the top chart games. I will admit the games are very, very pricey for the iPad. I'm very disappointed that um, m most of the apps are actually, um, they're not even updating to iPod, or for, for iPad, sorry, I'm going to be calling it iPad probably, or iPod con a lot probably. But anyways, they're not just updating to the iPad, they're making you buy a whole other new app, even though it's the same app, like, like they didn't change anything, they just make it compatible for the um, iPad, which is kind of dumb. If you go into Notes, Notes is a little different way it's set up. There I just got some apps I was thinking about getting that are kind of expensive, but anyways, Notes is actually kind of cool. You can't just write on the Notes, you have to buy, actually, you have to actually buy an app for that. We've got Photos, on the Photos, it's going to show all your photos and stuff. Then iPod, which act, I love the way they made the iPod app, it's, the music is just laid out so nice. You've got a whole bunch of categories over here, all of those categories. Got your volume right there. It's just it's just so nice. So this the way they just made this iPad is just unbelievable. But yeah guys, that's I think that's all I'm gonna show you for right now. If you want if you have any other questions or something, go ahead and just comment below. Um I recommend you guys get the iPad. It's very, very expensive, but it's well worth it. It's so fun. I love it so much. Um I really, really like it. It's just it's I I can't explain how much I like it. It's an amazing little piece of technology. It's nice to just play with when you're bored. I know it's kind of big, but, you know, whatever. But, yeah, guys, this was probably wasn't the greatest video, but whatever. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to do an app review today and probably some couple app reviews today. So, yeah, please favorite, comment, rate, and subscribe. Actually, I guess the new YouTube system, just thumbs up, not rating. I don't know. Anyways, see you guys. Please subscribe. More videos soon.